Hi, I'm John Himmelman, and I'm an author and illustrator of children's books, and I'm also a naturalist. Um, I do mostly children's books, but I've also done some books on natural history for uh, adults, but mostly children's books. Um, I want to thank Laurie Shaw and, and Ranger Russ for working with me on this, this little project. Uh, it, the timing was right, and it was fun putting this together. So today I'm going to read Noisy Frog Sing Along. And this is published by Dawn Publications, which is now uh, owned by Source Books. And I've always had an interest in frogs and um, all amphibian salamanders as well. And it really started with my wife, who's an artist, uh, my wife Betsy Himmelman, and she was doing paintings, watercolor paintings of frogs in our backyard, you know, wood frogs and green frogs and all that. And I, I loved seeing these. I, I actually um, got to know the frogs through her paintings or got to appreciate them through the aesthetic, the, through how they looked. Um, there's, there's one of her paintings back there of a, of a toad. And I'm also a night owl. And, you know, a lot of these, these frogs call at night. And I just, um, I get a thrill following the sound to its source. It's like a treasure hunt. And, you know, especially in the dark with a flashlight, everything looks cool under the light of a flashlight. And uh, for me, hearing the animal, that sense of hearing is, is as satisfying as actually seeing it. And I really be, I, I truly enjoy being able to identify, uh, to picture an animal just based on the sound that it's making, whether it's a bird or an insect or a frog. And it's kind of neat. I could, I can, through the open windows in my house, I could travel throughout my yard just by the sounds that, that these, uh, these creatures are making. And I can identify them by their call. It's, they each have uh, very specific calls. And I just, I see this as a gift to be able to do this, but it's a gift that you, you have to learn and you have to earn. And I, I think probably the easiest way to do this is to actually watch that animal making the sound. And it, what that does is it, it imprints the image uh, into, your, into your memory and you're able to connect those two. When you hear it, you get the picture. When you see it, you get to imagine what that sound that, that it makes uh, sounds like. So um, at, the end of the, at the end of the reading, I have a little more information on my books and um, where you can find them and uh, my website. Uh, johnhimmelman.com. So let's, Noisy let's get the sing along by John Himmelman. Frogs sing when they get together. Just the males sing. They want to be heard by the females. They fill their big, bulgy throat pouches with air and sing out. Some males are high and squeaky. Some are deep and rumbly. Others are very loud. And they sing without ever opening their mouths. A peeper peeps in the cold spring rain. Peep, 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 peep. It's actually more like Green frogs plunk like banjos at the edge of a pond. Plunk, 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 plunk. Some toads trill sweetly in the garden. Toads are a type of frog. Bree. And this is an American toad, which are very common in our gardens. They love eating slugs. So I put that in there for it. Some toads growl in the sand like angry sheep. And this is a Fowler's toad, which you can find at Hammonasset State Park. Um, there's a, one of the parking lots gets a big puddle in it every year and you see all the, the frogs gathering there and, and singing away, if you can call it singing. I guess it's kind of singing. The great big bullfrog juggerums in a great deep voice. Juggerum, juggerum, juggerum. And it's such a, a deep sound that you actually feel it in your chest. It vibrates in your chest. A pickerel frog growls deeply while floating in water.
These cor chorus frogs are creaking in a creek. Creak, creak, creak. A mink frog cucks in a chili pond. A close relative to frogs, the salamander crawls by silently in the wet leaves. He doesn't have a throat pouch to sing with. Listen to its call. You're not going to hear anything. They don't make any noise. Unless they're walking across crunchy leaves. This is a spotted salamander, by the way. A spadefoot toad cries from a puddle after it rains in the desert. Wah! 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 They have such cool eyes that they have like cat eyes. Some tree frogs go ribbit in the morning fog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. And these are Pacific tree frogs, and they're the ones that make the sound that everyone thinks all frogs make, ribbit. That's kind of the sound that's associated with frogs, but it's the Pacific tree frogs out west that actually make that sound. Some tree frogs meep on skinny branches. Meep, 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 meep. And this is a, a green tree frog. Gather all the frogs together and hear them sing. Ribbit, ribbit, peep, 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 creak, creak, meep, 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 wah, 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 cuck, cuck, And I have more info on frogs and some froggy activities. If you're interested, you can order the book from your local bookseller. Happy frogging, everyone. Ah. Oh.